Hey guys, Skip here. Uh, I know I've been gone for quite a while. I apologize for that. I've been kind of laid up here with a lot of things going on around the house and truck being broke down, so I don't really have transportation through the winter. Gotta wait till uh, prices come down on the used vehicles so I can get out there and get something. So I will be back out hopefully this season. I'm looking forward to it. In the meantime, my computer has been really dragging and uh, you know, doing videos and, and editing and stuff like that just takes forever and a day. It always kind of did. It was a slower computer. So I decided I was going to get something a little bit faster here. And I got this deal on Amazon. Um, funny, the prices kept going up and down, up and down. Now I used this model here as a template for what I was really going to shop for. I didn't expect I was going to be able to afford this because it had a price tag of like $1,650 when I put it on, the, on my wish list. But I happened to be checking it, and it went down to fourteen hundred. So I was watching it a little bit closer. One day I saw it hit eleven ninety nine. Um, so I hit click and buy, and it didn't go into my shopping cart. It was like the last one got sold just before I clicked. My luck, right? But later on that night, uh, I just happened to be looking through something else on my wish list, looking at something else, and. Um, I saw the price had dropped down to $11.99 again, and they were back in stock from Amazon, sold by Amazon, so you get their 30-day warranty unconditional. They'll come and get it from you. You don't have to tote it to a post -it, postmaster or anything if you have to send it back for an RO, uh, uh, ROA. Um, anyway, uh, ROA, RMA? <laughs> RMA, I think. Anyway, uh, we're going to do an unboxing here. This is the CyberPower Extreme Gamer system it's uh it's got some really incredible things on here it's got windows 11 home intel i5 11600kf 3.9 gigahertz with a turbo boost up to 4.9 um 16 gigabytes of double data rate for memory it's got an N nvidia geforce 3060 12 gigabyte card in it um the card alone was between seven and eight hundred dollars if you want to build your own system well it's already in this one so you get the whole damn system basically for the price of the card and some memory so I couldn't pass this one up um, it's got a 500 gigabyte PCIe NVM2 uh, solid state drive in it and it's got a, a one terabyte hard disk drive in it for for slow storage so this thing should be more than I should ever need again for the next several years but uh, let's get it out of the box and take a look at it real quick. I know it's not RC, but guys, it is RC related because I use a computer for editing. And it's been taking me like forever in a day. And heaven forbid I do something in 4K. You know, it just takes forever. And I mean like a whole day to do a 4K video on my computer. So this should speed things up considerably and make things a little bit easier for me to to do. So let's get her out of the box carefully. It's a big one. It's a heavy one. It's not like that little micro tower I bought. I kind of like getting it out of the box like an airplane. <laughs> Not real easy, huh? Okay. I think I got a better idea. <laughs> I need another set of arms here, guys. But she's coming. Okay, now in the box, it comes with an RGB lit keyboard. I'm not sure, it's just LED keyboard. I believe it's all just all white. Um, that's kind of cool. And it comes with your accessories. It comes with a mouse. It comes with an antenna for uh, Wi-Fi, because it comes with uh, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. And I believe it also has Bluetooth. So this stuff here, we're going to have to kind of set up later. This is just the unboxing video. 
but when I get it all set up, I'll do another video with it all lit up and running and hopefully have something on there I can show it on my 4K TV. And that's kind of why I bought it, so I could work out here as well. So you got a power cord. Looks like antennas for a Wi-Fi. And uh, oh, they give you an extra SATA cable and splitters in there. And it comes with a instruction manual and some other spec stuff here. It has a uh, driver disc. I don't know why they give you a disc. This thing does not have a disc drive. That's kind of strange. And then uh, they give you the important README startup, quick startup for this. Okay. So yeah, nice little mouse. It's an RGB. It does uh, have different colors. It's got a nice weight to it. Surprisingly, it's not, not a cheap feeling mouse at all. It's actually pretty nice. I bet the keyboard's kind of nice too. Should we take a look? So anyway, yeah, guys, I'm still alive and well. Uh, just kind of hanging in there. Yeah, it's kind of nice. And I'm kind of a mechanical clicky kind of keyboard. I kind of like those better. Better for gaming. Much better for gaming. And a better feel when you know you hit a button instead of just those soft touch. So this would be kind of nice. Let's set that off to the side here for now. this thing out. Take a look at our main attraction. Get the elephant out of the box here. Let's just knock our keyboard on the floor right <laughs> You can see it's packaged pretty nicely, guys. And voila. And there you have it, guys. It's got a little packaging foam plate in there. It's got plastic over the top. You can either leave that on to preserve it or, or take it off. Plastic on the front. Glass panel. RGB fans. RGB fans and thermal take cooler. And a tempered glass cover. Very nice. Now save your packaging guys in case you have to send it back. Because it's very important. This keeps your card in place. It's a uh, expandable foam pack that they use. Obviously they put the foam in afterwards, but uh, it molds around your video card. You can see it's got a nice video card. Let's bring this in a little closer. You guys get to take a look. Okay, starting off, we've got a great big, all 120 millimeter fans, big fans. And a Cooler Master Cooler. Must have brushless motor. <laughs> Cooler Master Cooler fans. Nice case, ample room in here for putting anything else that I might need in there. Different drives, different mounts, access ports down here for power supply. Um, I can't see the power supply yet, but I'll be taking these off and inspecting this thing. And then one of the first things you want to do always is check your connections, make sure that everything's in there, that all the memory's in there. This has got a nice set of memory in there. It's got the T-Force uh, Vulcan Z. And I believe that's uh, either 3200 or, or 3000 uh, 
gigahertz and uh, 16 gigs of memory. Two sticks, they've got them in parity here. Dual channel, always important to check to make sure they're mounted in the two and the four position. But other than that, we've got an Intel motherboard. Uh, B960 chipset, I believe, or 590 chipset, I have to look. But Ultra HD series, here's your solid state memory down there. And then there's a hard drive. I imagine that's down in here. Yeah, and we've got more plugs and cables and wires and stuff down here should I want to be hooking up additional lighting or put in a you know, different cooler. This looks like it's got a pretty nice Thermaltake take style uh, Cooler Master cooler on it, to tell you the truth. It does not look like the one that I saw uh, or the ones that people were complaining about saying they were inefficient. This looks like it's going to do a job pretty well. And I believe it's got expandability for another uh, hard disk drive, too, if you want. Yep, right here. So that's cool. All right, guys. I will get this thing up and running, and then I will show you how it works. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Okay, Garmin, stop recording.